Now, let's talk about the persistency of our machine learning models. This is the code we wrote for the classification of those flowers. We only had 150 samples. At the moment, every time I want to predict some new data, I have to run the whole code and train my model again and then predict it. I'm okay with that because it's very fast and it's on my local machine at the moment. But imagine if I wanted to upload it on my website and different users and visitors could come to the website and input some values to get the prediction. It wouldn't be reasonable to have the code look like this because for every request, for every user, we are training the model based on all of the data again and then we make a prediction. Or imagine if we had 1 million rows of data, 1 million samples, it would take a long time to train that model. Even on my local machine, I don't want to wait that long every time I want to make a prediction, let alone the website and all those users. So what can we do? That's exactly what persistency of our model is going to solve. We are going to remove this part. This is our main goal. We don't want to train our model every time. At the moment, let me run the code php index.php. It works great. It loads the data. It divides the data into training set and test set. And then we use a classifier to train our model. Our goal is to somehow persist the data after the first training. And after that, whenever we want to make prediction, instead of training the model again and again, we want to load those trained model. How can we do that? In PHP ML, it's very easy. All we have to do is to create a new model manager. So let's do it. Model manager equals to new model manager. That's it. Now, this model manager gives us two functions, two methods. One is to save the model to use it later and the other is to restore the model to use it again. Let's go through the first step and just save the model. Model manager, save to file. What is the model that we want to store as a file? This is this model and where we want to store it, I want to store it in models and classifier. As classifier, let me create a new directory, models. And now when we train our model for the first time, we are asking it to save it to a file so we can later use it without training it again. So let's run the code php index.php. Now if I go to my models, I have a classifier file. Now we want to restore that, we want to load it again, so we wouldn't have to train the model again and again. So we want to remove this part. Now I have a model and I want to load that, I don't want to train it again. Instead of save to file, we say restore from file. And then we store the return model to a variable and we use that variable. So right now we are again loading our data, we are dividing it to training set and test set, but in real case scenario we don't need to because we just want to load the data and make predictions. We already have trained the model. We are going to use the test sample to make prediction to see if there is any change, if I'm going to get a different accuracy. And then we are going to echo the accuracy. So let's run the code again. Exactly the same accuracy. We didn't train the model. We just restored it from the file. And that's how the persistency of the machine learning models work. It's very easy with just a few lines of code. We could save a lot of time for ourselves and the users. That's it for today. Let's continue with our course.